one of the assumptions of a good regression model is that the data of the regression model have to be free from autocorrelation. This term autocorrelation means if you have a variable x and you can predict the future values of x just by looking the present and past values of it, then you can say x has autocorrelation. This is something like anticipating the future trend of a stock exchange just by looking its present and past information. However, autocorrelation is a problem. It's not expected in a good regression model. And we can test whether our data has autocorrelation with Darwin Watson test of autocorrelation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can test autocorrelation in SPSS with Darwin Watson test. So here is my data file and it's opening. Here y is the dependent variable, x1, x2 are the three independent variables and we have to run a normal regression model because the option of Darwin Watson test resides in regression options. So go to analyze and then focus on regression and finally click on linear. We have to pass this variable based on their nature in the right side, in the right side and in these boxes, respective boxes y is dependent variable so pass y in the dependent box and x1 is independent x2 x3 are also independent and pass them in the independent box and to test the Darwin Watson we have to click on statistics and here we will find Darwin Watson just check it and click on continue and finally ok here is a normal regression outcome in SPSS. However, we only need this table, I mean model summary, because Darwin Watson statistics is here. Now there is three there are three rules regarding the value of Darwin Watson. If the value of Darwin Watson is two, then there is no autocorrelation. If it is less than 2, then there is positive autocorrelation and if it is greater than 2, it's negative autocorrelation. And one more thing is that the value of Darwin Watson may be from 0 to 4. I mean the lowest value is 0 and highest value is 4. And the three rules again no autocorrelation if the value is 2 positive autocorrelation if the value is less than 2 negative autocorrelation if the value is greater than 2 in this model in my case we see the Darwin Watson value is 2.618 which is greater than 2 it means my data has negative autocorrelation this is not a good sign for my regression model. So in this way we can test autocorrelation in our data and uh, if you have any asking feel free to ask in the comment section and finally thanks for watching.